I've told this story before about how I used to bake in secret, and in order to hide the baking evidence, I would hide it in my sister's closet. I was supposed to be studying all day, and I was not allowed to use the kitchen, so I would have to hide my baking from my parents. Sometimes my timing was a little bit off, and the candy that I was making or the baked good that I was making would sometimes run over time, and I would literally have to take it out of the oven or off the stove and hurriedly go and hide it in my sister's closet so that my parents wouldn't know that I had been baking. But the problem is, is if you don't properly cool things, especially cakes, and they're all kind of steaming up in this little space, then it doesn't produce the nicest texture. And this resulted in me having to throw away some things. And I wish that I had known about cake pops back then. As long as the taste of your cake is good, but maybe the texture is a little bit off, you can honestly save it with fillings and ganaches and roll it into a beautiful cake pop. I'm working on three different cake pop projects and I can't wait to share them with you guys. And yes, they are going to be Halloween and fall themed.